What's up guys? This is Nicole Glass and today I am checking in from pretty much the middle of nowhere. I'm in a very, very small town out in rural Maryland and I just did a photo shoot here. So I just did a photo shoot of a one man plumbing company and I basically just took some photos of the plumber in action, a couple of photos of him, him and his truck, his equipment, all that kind of stuff. And basically these photos are going to be used on his social media channels and on his Yelp page to basically highlight the work that he does and maybe attract some more customers. Photos like these show the face of the company and maybe it's just one face, but it makes people feel like, oh, okay, this is who I'm hiring when I contact them. So this photo shoot is one of many that I do for a company and it's a social media marketing company and they're based in uh, Texas actually and they have photographers all around the United States that they contact every time they need a photo shoot done of a small business. That company then uses the photos that I take of these small businesses and they use them on that business's social media channels as well as their Google and Yelp reviews and all of that. Now this company contacts me a few times a month to do different photo shoots of different small businesses in my area. I've photographed everything from car dealerships to massage parlors to beauty salons and barber shops, jewelry stores, car washes, a lawnmower repair shop, restaurants, a smoothie shop, literally every kind of business that you can think of. But the one thing all of these businesses have in common is that they're all very, very small businesses. Like maybe they're owned by one person or a family run business or just a very small business in general. So by working for this company, I've discovered all sorts of businesses near me. And what I've found is that all of them lack photos. They don't have good photography of their businesses. And if you look them up online, you'll probably find a lot of cell phone photos of their business or maybe no photos at all, but no real professional photography and nothing that really tells the story of who they are and what they do. So over the past few years that I've done these sorts of assignments, I've really seen that there's a huge market for photography for small business owners that have never had their business photographed. But a lot of times these businesses, it doesn't even cross their mind to get professional photography done. So what I would recommend is if you're trying to branch out as a photographer and find new clients is to go to those small businesses that are near you and see if they need photography. They might need it and they might not even know that they need it, but that's where you can step in and tell them the benefits of having some photos for their website, for their social media. And I'm not talking about going to your nearest Chipotle and asking them if they need photos because, you know, they've got photos, they're, they're good. But it really is those small, small businesses, those mom and pop shops or those family run businesses that probably need some good photography and that photography can help attract new clients. So obviously I work for a company and this company sends me out to photograph different businesses, but it's definitely something that you could also try to do yourself. It just probably takes a lot more research and phone calls and all of that. Obviously, if you work for a company, you're going to get paid whatever the company pays you. Whereas if you work for yourself and find your own clients, you're getting paid all of that money yourself. So when I go out and photograph these small businesses, there's definitely a few things that I always do. One, I take headshots of the owner or owners or the people that work there, which definitely shows the face of the company or the faces of the company. Two, I take action shots of people at work. What do they do? Are they repairing something? Are they serving in a restaurant? I'll take action shots of whatever they do so you get a behind the scenes look of what this company is all about. Three, I take photos of their products and services. You know, maybe that's food at a restaurant or maybe that's that's a lawnmower that they have just fixed and it now works again. Or maybe that's before and after photos at a beauty salon. Whatever the product or service is, take photos of that. Four, I look around the room or the business. I'll take photos of the space. I'll look at the walls. Are there awards hanging on the walls? If so, I'll take photos of those awards. I'll take a couple photos of the business cards, just all the little details of the business that you're at. And by doing all of those things, you'll have a very nice album that basically shows all the aspects of this business. And these can be used on their social media or on their website to illustrate who they are. Once you've done a couple of those, you can show other businesses 
the work that you do and show them how one hour in their business can really revolutionize their public image. So if you're trying to branch out and find new clients, I definitely recommend trying to find those new or small businesses in your area, contacting them and seeing if they want some photography because I've seen how it can really change their public image. And as long as you can show them that you have the potential to do that for them, I think there's no reason why they shouldn't hire you. Anyways, those are just a few of my thoughts that I wanted to share with you after finishing my photo shoot today. This is just one aspect of my photography life, but it's one that I have a lot of fun with. That's it for today. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video.